Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm Miguel from Major and this is a Let's Play in the Cossack uh, just to make up for the very quick game we had in the review. Uh, now this is a tier 5 and 6 game of Domination on Straight. Looking at the other team, a Cossack and a T61 working together. I don't really want to come across them, they're just going to get me ganked. Apart from that, rest of them are alright. Nuremberg, German Sonar, Katsuku, Sneaky Sneaky, York, German Sonar, and then a couple of battleships. Now straight's quite an odd one. Uh, I've spawned next to Charlie, so I'm going to push up and capture Charlie while while my battleships head off to the center. Okay, all right. So I won't have support for much longer. Now, sooner I know where our, the enemy squad is, the better. The Normandy just got ganked. Nice. Actually, what I might do. Is I might stick my nose up with the intention of. No, I'm not going to be able to. I was hoping maybe to spot. Now I'm contested. Which I don't like because it's either the Katsuku or it's the T61 and the Cossack working together. And being I've only seen just the one. I'm kind of expecting it to be the the pet like the pair of the destroyers. So what I might do, yeah, it is going to be the pair of destroyers. So I'm going to concede this. Let them have it. Now I'll fall back to my battleships. The intention that I can actually work with my battleships to cover off. What I don't want to be is like out here isolated. My battleships getting way off our target and able to actually support me properly because um, against a T61 and a Cossack working together I'm just going to get chewed up very very quickly um, but that's not going to stop me just chucking some random torpedoes down because you never know you might just catch someone off guard and that's the nice one the British uh, torpedo launcher that you get with this is you can you can spread those torpedoes out so yes you only have four but you're not committed to sticking all four at a certain person now here you see I'm using my wide stance with my guns um, you don't have a narrow stance if you want to bring off so there you kind of see that you've lost the uh, very front gun and I think the rear gun disengages quite quickly too on the Cossacks that's something to bear in mind what have we got in the middle? we've got a pencil cannon there that's going to be easier prey for me kind of like see this front if we can tank the Pensacola out which looks like it's going to happen we should be all right because it looks like we're going to roll up the other flank quite easily just due to the sheer amount of ships we've actually got there now the Pensacola is in range is she moving forwards or backwards backwards so I am going to start popping some shells out now I'm not detected, so I know they're destroyers haven't caught. Never mind. Right, so what they had spotted that we've had four of their ships spotted, two of them sunk. So these basically their three destroyers have not been spotted anywhere. Which is a concern. So what I will do is I'll just put some prospecting torpedoes out over there. I'm almost really basically what I'm doing, I'm covering the retreat of these two battleships. If they decided that they don't want to hang around for Charlie, then if you if you imagine if I stayed over there, I would have probably just easily got chewed to pieces by the whatever destroyers they got, and then that would have been it for the game, which would have been bad. Way. Ooh, I want to know what that destroyer is. I want to know what it is soon I'm hoping if it's, if it's the Katsuku that I definitely know the squads over here if it's not the Katsuku then I probably have it slightly easier uh, knowing that there's probably only the Katsuku over here with the French battleship so you can see the French battleship hasn't come through as expected mm, we've lost visibility So the nice one is we, oh, hello, right, action stations, we are going to try and engage him, which one is 
that one? Which one's that one? Akatsuki. Right. I will pop my sonar on and push his smoke screen. It's risky, but I know that I have the Normandy in support. Now, it's going to take me a little while to get there. But fingers crossed, I should have him pretty isolated. Mm, I don't think I've got a chance to get torpedoes out of Normandy. I've just got to go for it. Okay, we're going for this now. So the engagement starts. Everyone just pick on him. So there's half his health gone. So this is the thing, like, as a destroyer, it's all right going off and hunting a destroyer. But when you acknowledge that you are going to be abandoned, you kind of need to ensure you have backup um, yes you're a scout you've got a spot but what you don't want to be doing is sacrificing yourself uh, just to hold the fact now the katsuku's gone so what i'm going to do i'm going to spin this around and i'm going to go after that normandy so at the moment we haven't really got like great score or anything but our team's doing well i think this has just basically been more of a more of a thinking game it's like trying to outplay what they're doing um, so I'm sure the T61 is going to be around um, I'm surprised he's not been we ah, there we go so the T61 is instantly given away his position now I've got full health and I'm up a tier his backup is a lion so let's see first of all let's see what we can do with the lion so we're just going to do a wide band. We're going to chuck them there. Now the T61 could have RDF. Um, should have reasonable uh, detectability, but I should be all right. Now I D. Oh, where's that island? That island's on the other side of B. So I'm not going to be able to use it to separate me. Okay, he's just fired. There's the T61. Ooh. Okay. If you go around the island, I can then use the island to, um, or basically, if I can get the island between me and the Normandy, then I have a chance of actually pushing the T61 because the Normandy won't be able to engage. That's the plan. Plans then always go to plan. Right, I'm going to switch my gun size quickly. I'm going to flick out. I haven't got sonar now. So I'm pushing this T61 naked. So let's do this. Now he's probably pooped his pants a little bit because he did see I he got detected by sonar. However, that hasn't gone to plan. If I can fluke it through, I'll have that. Right, and you can, as you can see, I've used the Normandy to isolate myself. Um, so therefore, this T61 doesn't have the backup that he requires. I'm going to slow down because I don't want to race around the island. I've just lost some of my DPM, but if I flick the rear out, I can maybe get my secondary on. Because the secondary has a decent rate of fire too. Um, it's just about as accurate as a... Now, I'm going to use my smoke. Oh! So that's just a cheeky little trick um, with a destroyer. It's always reading your surroundings, reading that mini map, seeing what's going on. And even though that wasn't like an amazing game, I've still come second on the team because I've, I've done quite a lot of spotting damage. I've kind of like picked off my targets quite nicely. I've defended the right objectives at the right time. Um, that's just an interesting way to play a destroyer. It's how I play in ranked. It's reading the map, reading the team. Um, reading the train as well working out when you when you can use certain trains to do certain things so if you like this kind of uh, gameplay um, feel free to subscribe I'm the Galfin Major and back to the port